Axiom 3 is the next major version of the sparse, GPU-accelerated volumetric fluid solver for visual effects and computer graphics. This release has many great new improvements, let's go over all the major ones. Previously, and by default, Axiom simulates using grids that had 32 bits of precision. However, now you can optionally use 16-bit grids that have less precision, but also use half the memory. Not all grids can use 16-bit, however the main fields to density, temperature, fuel, velocity, and color can. You can expect a 36% decrease in total memory when using 16-bit. In testing, there's little to no visual quality difference between 32 and 16-bit, and in fact the shot you saw at the beginning of this video was simulating using 16-bit fields. First introduced in Axiom 2.2, Axiom now has a native Metal version that lets you simulate with greater efficiency on macOS. Metal is now out of beta and is production ready. Also on macOS, Axiom 3 brings native ARM support for Apple Silicon devices when using a Houdini ARM64 build. Finally, Axiom 3 now has native CUDA support for NVIDIA GPUs. When using the CUDA and Metal APIs, Axiom can now use your system memory in addition to GPU memory. This means when your GPU runs out of memory, it will automatically allocate the additional resources it needs from your system RAM. This is on by default, but you can always change it to only use device memory in the Compute tab of the solver settings. You can now make the neighbor cache larger, which will help with very fast moving simulations where voxels may need to sample outside of their immediate area. This will greatly accelerate advection operations. Just by changing the cache size from 3 cubed to 5 cubed, reduce the explosion benchmark time by 25%. This setting can be found under the sparse tab in the solver setting and is on 5 cube by default. There has been a lot of work done to project non divergent that will make simulations much more stable and produce more accurate results. Looking at Axiom 2 compared to Axiom 3, you'll see areas that had some artifacting before that are now much cleaner. Axiom now has a third disturbance and turbulence force, and all disturbance forces now have a seed value to more easily be able to wedge out variations. Also new to Axiom 3 is the drag force that will let you slow down simulations and also has a control field to be able to scale by a particular field. Source shapes now have a viewport handle so you no longer need to drop a transform after the node to manipulate its position. Source shapes can also inherit the orientation of their input in addition to their size. You can also find a new plane type for easily adding in a ground plane collider. When overlapping source shapes, they will now composite their values when using multiple influence forces. That's it for this release. I hope you enjoy all the new features and improvements that come with Axiom 3.